What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Lucky Boy! Yeah! Now today, Adam, I'm gonna tell you a story about the worst teacher I've ever had in my life! Oh, I'm excited! Bro, now you already know, I have a deep appreciation for teachers. Teachers are very important. They're doing a very important job. This teacher and this story are pretty crazy, bro. And there's a crazy twist at the end. Are you ready, bro? I think so. All right, bro, because this story <laughs> goes everywhere, bro. Now, okay, I showed up to the first day of school one year, okay? Real excited. You know, I got the new back-to-school fit on. You know what I mean? I'm looking fresh. I show up. I say it's going to be a great year, huh? Wow, got the new backpack, new shoes, new everything. Yeah. A new, a new outfit, everything, and you got it on the first day of class, you're real nervous because you're going to meet your new teachers, you know what I mean? All right. And so I showed up to, you know, first class of the day, uh, it was chemistry's class, bro. Whoa, wait, how old are you? I'm baby Einstein, bro. <laughs> I was learning chemistry. I was mixing up chemicals, everything in school, man. Wow. No cap, no cap. So we showed up, it's chemistry class. I'd never taken chemistry class before. The teacher is brand new. I've never seen him around school before. Oh, the science teacher. And the, the chemistry teacher. And he shows up the first day in a muscle tee, bro. Ooh, so he was like super ripped. He was pretty ripped and he was wearing a very tight t-shirt. Way too tight, bro. <laughs> he was flexing and stuff. It was real scary, bro. I was like, what kind of chemistry is this, bro? Yeah. He was pretty scary. He looked real serious, man. And we knew right away he was serious because he said, hey, everybody listen up. We're doing assigned seating. That's how you know a teacher is serious, bro. He's not messing around. No, because the chill teachers will say, all right, everyone can just pick their, their seats. Then you sit with your friends. You do a little ha ha he he. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm having none of that. He showed us a chart. He said, this is where everybody's sitting. I don't want to hear no questions. Ooh, but did you get to sit next to people you like? Nah, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, I like everyone in school. You know what I mean? But I didn't get to sit with my friends. You ah. know? But it was real crazy. It was all right. We were learning about chemicals, whatever. But the teacher was real strict, bro. Every day he was show up in the muscle team <laughs> to a certain dominance <laughs> like I assert Domino's pizza <laughs> to myself he assert dominance bro and he wouldn't let us chat in between like lessons like you can't you can't say anything and if you do he'll send you to what he called the desk of shame bro oh no what was the desk he of just, shame he just had a desk in the corner back corner you sit by yourself bro you face the wall Wow. That's for the bad boys. Were you ever at that table? I, hey, I'm going to get there, Adam. I'm, yo, it was crazy, bro. So one day, one day, the teacher says, okay. He says, now we're going to do a little experiment. You guys are going to do this thing. You're going to take these little beakers, fill them up. You're going to make a chemical reaction and get like a solid. You're going to pour a bunch of liquids together and get a solid. I was learning chemicals, bro. Wow, I don't even know how to do that now. That's how I know I was born in a test tube, bro. <laughs> My brain just... I. I I was good at chemistry. Ah. But anyways, the teacher said, you guys could choose your lab partners. So I got to choose A. So A, this is where he kind of messed up. I chose my friend. A, me and my friend, we be, we be chilling. We be chilling. <laughs> he didn't assign lab partners. So me and my friend, you know, we're doing the ha-ha, he-he. We're not really paying attention. This takes, this whole thing takes maybe two hours. We're mixing chemicals. We get the solid at the end. And the whole point is you mix the liquids, you get the solid at the end, and then you weigh the solid. That's like the whole goal. Is oh. How much solid did you get? Okay, okay. And we got to the end, it took two hours, and my friend, being a troll, because we were just joking, we weren't paying attention, he accidentally poured the solids down the drain, bro. So all that work, that two hours of work, literally just went down the drain? Yeah, literally, literally. Wow. Now, I, at the time, I was laughing. I said, ah! <laughs> I said, yo, we are some dummies, bro. <laughs> we are so dumb. We just wasted the whole class. We didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. I thought it was funny. We were rolling on the ground laughing. But hey, the teacher didn't think that was funny at all, bro. Oh, did his muscles start to get all angry? Bro, his muscles <laughs> started to get angry at us. And he said, that's not funny at all. You guys wasted time. You wasted supplies. Which now I look back on it, he was right. But he got real angry. I've never seen a teacher that angry. I said, bro, it was just an accident, bro. <laughs> 
It's just a, it's just a class. Why, yeah. Why you have to be mad? <laughs> you know what I mean? And he got so mad. He said, "You guys are staying here. You guys are sitting at the desk of shame for the next week. And you guys gotta stay after class and clean up everybody's test tubes, bro." Whoa. So you guys weren't laughing much anymore. I said, "Is he even allowed to do that, bro?" Whoa. We had to stay after class and scrub all the test tubes, man. That's so mean. It was crazy. It was like detention, but it was like we had to do work. So, hey, we had to scrub through lunch. We had to keep scrubbing all the chemicals. Wow. All because you just messed up the assignment. Bro, but this is where the story... So we were there scrubbing. Okay, having a miserable time because we weren't allowed to go to lunch. And you know Justin needs to get, <laughs> get thick. I need to eat. Yeah, if you miss a meal, that's a bad time. Bro, I was scrubbing and we noticed we were looking outside the classroom. We could see this guy, this teacher was sitting by himself eating his lunch, bro. Oh, the chemistry teacher, the super muscular one was all by himself? all by himself, which is pretty rare because all the teachers usually sit together to eat, you know, the teacher room. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's sitting by himself. I thought that was pretty weird. So the next day at school, I started asking the other teachers, you know what I mean? I asked the librarian. I asked people, what's the deal with this guy? What's his What's his story? Because why he sat, he looks so sad sitting by himself eating. Yeah, it's like he was at his own desk of shame. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh. On the outside, he was looking tough, but on the inside, he was close to crying, bro. Just like you. Like me, bro. Yeah. So I asked everybody, and what we learned blew our minds. What we learned was he was actually a new teacher who had been fired from his past school for being too nice. Oh, what a twist. Bro. So he was being mean to try, or being strict to try and compensate. He didn't want to get fired again for being too nice. So he was a big softy on the inside, but he'd been fired for that. So now he was trying to be a big meanie, bro. Oh, so what probably happened was at his old school, he was like giving every kid an A. Yeah. Like, he was being way too nice. He was letting kids get away with misbehaving. You can't do that, you know what I mean? He went from being a weenie to being a meanie, bro. Wow. And then he started working out and probably wearing like really, you know, tight black shirts that's, and stuff. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. But that's not him on the that's inside. Not, that's not the real him, bro. No. That's not the real him. Wow. So it all makes sense. So he was trying to be real strict and none of the other teachers really got along with him. So he was he was a real nice guy, but he was trying to act like a tough guy because he didn't want to get in trouble again, bro. I never even thought about that because when you're a student, the teacher gets you in trouble, but I never realized the teacher could also get in trouble, bro. Yeah. I mean, he probably felt like if he wasn't really mean to you, he would get fired. That's what I'm saying, bro. I told you the story gets crazy, bro. <laughs> I told you. Wow. So wait, me and my friend, we got to thinking, we thought, wow, this guy's not a bad guy. He's not a mean guy. He's just trying to do his job. Like I said, guys, teachers do a very important job, okay? Yeah. It's difficult. So we thought, you know what? We should get everyone in the class to make him a little gift, bro. Make him a gift and show him that we welcome him into our school because he's a new teacher. We didn't know that. Yeah. So, bro, I, I'm big brain, big genius, wrinkly brain. No way. <laughs> what did you get him? Bro, I was I was in art class, bro. And we, you ever do that thing in art class where you make something out of clay and then they, like, bake it? You know what I mean? So yeah. So it turns, like, really nice and hard, like a, like a mug or something. Yeah. I made him a mug. Aww. I made him a nice little mug that says, welcome, you're the best teacher ever, bro. Or something like that on it. I don't remember what I wrote. But it was just a nice mug to say, like, you're a good teacher. Don't worry. You know what I mean? And you gave him that mug? I gave him that mug. I said, we said, the class said, this all from us together, bro. Welcome to the school. And, bro... I'll never forget the look in that man's eyes. Wow. You probably gave him the mug and then all he wanted was a hug. <sighs> nah. That, nah. That's actually not what it was. Oh. What, it, what was his reaction when you gave him the mug? He really, I saw his whole meat and expression, bro. I saw right through it, bro. Even his muscles started to cry? I saw his muscles started to get sad, bro. Wow. He said, wow, this is so great. 
I feel like I'm appreciated as a teacher. And then after that, he was the best teacher ever, bro, because he wasn't too mean and he wasn't too nice. He was just a great teacher right in the middle, bro. You know what I mean? Kept us in line, but also was real nice to us. And then that's how the worst teacher in my life turned out to be one of the best in my life, bro. Wow, what a great story. Guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com. Get yourself LankyBox merch. That story, like I said, Adam, was pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat some potato <laughs> chips. Yeah! <laughs>